I'm Madeline McKinney. Mi nombre es Mark McKinney. And we are AT Concord. And we're going to take you on our 2,584 mile hike. Let's get started. I wanted to hike the Pinhoti and Appalachian Trail because I've lived in Colorado for the past year and a half and I grew to just love hiking. I've done uh, 23 14ers and I just love the simplicity and the challenge that goes along with it and being in nature and just not having to worry about the stresses of everyday life. It's it's just very simple. I just love being out in the beauty of nature. That's definitely why I'm hiking the trail. I'm hiking the trail uh, to get that sense of adventure, you know, to test myself physically and see what I'm capable of. And because it's there. And why not? It just seemed like a good idea at the time, I guess. It just seemed really interesting to start at the beginning of the Appalachians, you know, where they come up, uh, you know, and they first rise up out of the ground. To be able to have that true start down at Flag Mountain, it's 400 miles more and it would, it kind of set us apart and, and test us um, physically, you know, even greater than what the Appalachian Trail had to offer. First and foremost, I have to say, I'm really looking forward to not working. Uh, I'm looking forward to eating a Snickers bar every single day. That's pretty fun, and not even having to worry about it. Um, I'm looking forward to the adventure and the new experiences that are out there, and uh, spending a lot of time with my wife. Just the responsibility of just looking after only yourself and not having to worry about the bills and, you know, things that everybody in society has to worry about. Uh, I'm looking forward to life simplified. You know, when a lot of people think of the Appalachian Trail, they think of, uh, you know, bears, animals, uh, all the wildlife. What's going to happen if this happens? You know, I'm not too worried about a lot of those challenges. I think the greatest challenge of this trail is to have that longevity, uh, you know, the mental aptitude to be able to, you know, struggle through the hard times and, and you know, enjoy the great times and realize that they're there. I think a big challenge is going to be that soreness that you wake up with every day. You know, staying healthy through the trail is, is pretty difficult sometimes. I mean, even in training, I had a, a minor injury, um, you know, just training. Not having those creature comforts of life, getting used to sleeping outside, that's going to be a big challenge, too. I think the trail is going to make me a more disciplined person, more than likely make me more patient. The trail is going to change my life, I think, in making me more instinctual as a person, to not worry as much, enjoy life a little bit more, and not be as serious all the time. I'll probably be a lot healthier when I'm done with the trail. I think overall it's just going to give me a better sense of adventure. It's going to help me to go after my goals a little bit stronger than I have in the past, and give me that confidence, uh, you know, to be able to do bigger and better things. I really want to inspire more women to get into hiking. That's something that I'm really passionate about. My life. Well, I'm doing what I love right now. I've always thought about maybe being a professional hippie, but I don't think they make very much money. You know, keep hiking. I'd like to see new adventure every day and, uh, you know, see what, what God's given me in this world. Where do I begin? The list is a little long, but I'm going to shorten it for you guys. Uh, I'd have to say, central heating and air, definitely going to miss that. My aunt and my husband's cooking, their food is awesome. What will I miss most? Let's see, beer, 
chocolate cake, strawberry cake, pound cake. Uh, a bed. I think I'll really miss a bed. Putting away that tablet of mine because I can spend a little long playing Fruit Ninja on it. Cake, food, home cooked food, beer. Did I say that one already? Thoreau, I'm a big Thoreau fan, so I definitely think he's inspired you know, more than just me. Millions of people around the world. I have to say, Andrew Skirka has definitely inspired me. Uh, I aim one day to be as much of a perfectionist at it as he is. And my husband, he inspires me every single day. I would definitely say my father inspired me. I've been inspired by a lot of other hikers in this world. You know, Andrew Skirka and, and the accomplishments that he's been able to do, and, and what Justin Richards has been able to do uh, hiking 10,000 miles in a year. Those are great accomplishments and, and definitely things that we strive for as a team hiking. I think it's a tie between tortilla and slurpee. Cantankerous. It's a cool word. This is my mother. Barbara Bryant, she's been here supporting us while we've been preparing for the hike and uh, she's been really great to us while we've been here. And she's uh, an awesome lady. South Carolina.